Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is their thoughts and feelings. So we want to have someone in mind that we want to know what they're thinking. Now this someone could be someone you haven't met. Say you're single and you um, aren't dating anybody. There's no prospects right now, but you want to know if like the next person you meet, will, will they uh, be somebody that you care about? Or what will they think of you? Something along those lines. It doesn't have to be somebody you're currently with. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. So, you know, just my person, whoever my person's out there, how are, how are they going to feel when we meet? How are they going to feel about me? Will they care? All right. So just uh, keep that in mind when you pick your pile, who, who you want this uh, message to be about. Before I get started, I always send out healing. So take a deep breath with me. All right, pile one. It's blue aventurine. Sorry, I forgot for a second. Pile two is turquoise and pile three is actually sea glass. So take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to with your person in mind, and then we'll see what's going on. All right, pile one, you chose the aventurine. Uh, let's get some cards. The moon, two of pentacles, page of pentacles, wheel of fortune, nine of cups. All right. Um, this person may be confused. Uh, confused maybe about how you feel about them even. Uh, or they're not sure whether they... Uh, whether they should come forward, try to be with you. Or if they do, they're trying to figure out how. There's just some fogginess here. There's just some unknowing. Um... It kind of looks like you would be a wish come true if you were to say yes to this person. So maybe the confusion is they don't know how you would feel about them. So I kind of feel like this is not somebody you're with, but somebody maybe that you want to be with or you're thinking about, or, or maybe it's somebody you just met, you know, and you want to know what they're thinking. So they're confused right now. They don't see the clear picture yet, but I do feel like they're going to get clear. Once they make a decision to actually like kind of say, all right, you're my person. If this is somebody, you know, you're not dating yet. Um, if, once they make that offer to you, they get more clear and they end up, you know, really hoping that you are their wish come true. So I do think that whoever you're thinking about, things will work out with this person. All right. But in the beginning, they're going to be a little... Uh, unclear about it and it could just be other unclear on how you feel but then you have the ladder which is climbing towards success so that means that you know it's it's going to be a climb you know it's not going to be like boom we're um, ready to get married it's going to be a climb like this is going to be um, you know one rung at a time which is a great way to build a firm foundation, right? Something solid. Family ma ma matters, sorry. Um, I think eventually this person could see you having a family with you. And if it's not about having children, then it's somebody has adult children or has children already and uh, might be concerned with like maybe not wanting to be a step parent. What would that look like? Or how they're concerned how the, the children would welcome them in. I don't know. There's definitely something here about kids though. You know, wanting to have them or not wanting to have them. Uh, we'll get clarity maybe. 
this person's going to make you laugh. You guys are going to have fun together. You guys are going to really enjoy each other's company. This person's going to make you laugh. She who becomes metamorphosis, transcend, and journey. So now we've got like the journey again where it's it's climbing the ladder. It's, it's you know, making a journey. But we also have metamorphosis. So that's a transformation. So are they talking about transforming from friends into something more? Transforming their relationship. Your, your relationship has gone through a process, kind of like a, a journey. So I definitely feel like this is probably somebody you know. But maybe, but I don't feel like you guys are together. Or if you are, or if you were together, like maybe you were together. I don't know, but I definitely feel like you guys know each other. Kangaroo, be a force for good. So your person's a good person, all right? They they believe in doing the right thing. They believe in good, um, you know, just being, doing good for, for all involved. So you're someone who wants to do the right thing all the time. But they definitely visualize a future with you. They, they want to know what it looks like. So they kind of daydream about this relationship. So they may be unclear on, on how this is going to go, but they definitely have hope. They definitely have hope for this. Luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. Well, we're not talking about networking, but um, you got the Wheel of Fortune, which is luck, and now you got the luck card. So if you're hopeful for this, then I absolutely think that this is going to work out for you. Um, yeah, I, see, I, see, I, I do see a future with you guys. I think you're both there. There might be a little bit of obstacles here. There might be some things, a bumpy road a little bit. Um, but that's most situations in life, right? Nothing's ever, well, I shouldn't say nothing, but it, it, you get really lucky when things are work out very, very smoothly. You know, there's always twists and turns or bumps so or obstacles to overcome so I, I i don't think this is anything out of the norm i think this is a normal relationship with normal growing pains so yeah i i i like it that look it's going to lead to a commitment it will lead to an engagement that's that's really nice Queen of Gabriel, passionate, charming, brilliant, and independent. I think that's how they see you. I mean, it could be their energy. They could be a queen of, of wands energy. Queen of wands is usually someone who is fearless, somebody who goes after what they want. But I'm kind of feeling like they see that as you. Like they see you as the queen of wands, you as someone, and maybe that's why they're like, you know, a little unclear on how you will receive them or perceive them, receive or perceive them. <laughs> um, but they are like in all of you, like that they, they like really are super attracted to you. So I, I kind of like this a lot, actually. Let's, um, oh, for, let's get, I forgot about these. Let's get, um, an actual thoughts and feelings card. How do I get you alone? Are you kidding me? I told you they're super attracted to you. Yeah, they, uh, they're definitely interested. That is for sure. So if this is not somebody you're with, 
this is definitely somebody you could be with. I want to see if there's another one that pops out, but not. Oh, there we go. What does it say? I live for your smile and I would die for your kiss. <laughs> How sweet is that? That's adorable. That's adorable. Oh, I love this person for you. Um, all right. That's, uh, I guess I could get you a few charms, right? Let's see. I don't want to do a whole lot of charms on this because this is like pretty self-explanatory. You know, how do they feel? But let's get a few. Now, they did, we did get the cross, so. And the soulmate charm right there was stuck in my hand. Um, so they are trying to decide whether they should come forward or tell you how they feel they're trying to decide something they are at a crossroads but i do kind of feel like you are soulmates here with this with these swans best friend charm so maybe you guys do start off as friends and the relationship transforms but they they're going to be your best friend and look you've got the panda the panda for me is always about balance like you guys are going to balance each other out you're going to give equal give and take to each other that you guys are really going to complement each other right i feel like this is a smart move you got the owl i think it's a smart move to to hit your wagon to this person's horse <laughs> what an old-fashioned statement right um but no i just think that and your person's smart to pick you right uh, we have the bat, so there is a, some kind of a transformation. So again, you're made, this relationship could be transforming into something more. You're climbing the ladder. So I kind of really love this, but uh, you always do what's right for you, you know. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose Turquoise, let's get some cards for you. Queen of Swords. Knight of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Justice. Well, right off the bat, this person's super attracted to you. Um, they feel extremely turned on by you. Like you excite them. The thoughts of you excite them. I don't think you're with this person though. I think they see you as someone who is um, smart, intelligent, very kind of on top of their game, very uh, in control. They see you as someone who is just, like they really admire who you are. Not only are they super attracted to you, but they admire you. They admire the person that you, that you are. Like they see you as someone who's like independent and um, grounded and smart and, and I don't know, all good things here. Justice is here. I mean, that I do think that they see you as someone who is fair and honest. But I kind of feel like this is like, maybe this is somebody who, um, they liked you in the past and you didn't like them, but now like they feel like they're getting their justice because now you're coming you come back around and you like them. I don't know. I feel like there's a little bit of like justice happening here. Like, hmm, how do you like me now? Kind of thing. Now you like me. I don't know. Not, not in a cocky way. They're not like that. Like more like they're super happy that you like them. Um, but like, you know, I wasn't good enough before, but now all of a sudden I am. And they're happy about that. Like, it's not like they're like, I, you know, I know I used the wrong terms there, but 
they're happy about it. Let's get some more cards. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So this is somebody you could have children with, but I kind of feel like this is the birth of this relationship. Like, so if this is not somebody, like, I kind of feel like this is something new. Like, this feels, feels new. It feels new. Or it hasn't started yet. Maybe this is just somebody you're thinking about. But it feels like there's a newness to this. Like, um, it's just about to get started. And it's not, and you could possibly know them. Like I said, this could possibly be somebody from the past who had like some kind of missed opportunity. Um, <coughs> I don't think this was ever anyone you were serious about though. Like, I don't feel like this is an XX. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's keep going. Hard work ahead. Why would there be hard work ahead when this person really is into you? I don't know. There might be just some difficulties. Maybe you live at a distance or maybe uh, somebody's in a situation. I don't know. There, there might be something here that you would have to overcome. Sorry, I just pulled this card and they were giving me um, it says hello and goodbye. You'll soon see that this change will make things better. To be honest with you, I kind of feel like of what I said already from that card in the past. Like this is somebody who had a missed opportunity. Like it was like maybe it was like a start of something and then it was like a hello and a goodbye. Like um, this ain't it. Like this ain't working. So I kind of feel like this person liked you in the past, but you weren't interested in the past. And now you are. It was a quick hello and goodbye for you guys. So that might be why it will be hard work to come together. This person might not exactly trust that you care about them, even though I feel like they're super into you. They're really attracted to you. Embrace. She who enfolds. Swath. Embrace. So, They, I feel like they were rejected. I feel like you rejected them in the past. I really do. Like they had to swallow them, swath, swathle themselves. You know, like a baby. Like they had to really like try not to feel unworthy of you because you rejected them. I kind of feel like they, they took a long time to get over you or they were hurt by you. And maybe you didn't understand it because it was a quick, it was a quick hello and goodbye. But I, I think they had to really do some self care here. I think they really had to, um, like give themselves a hug here after you. And I don't think you're aware of this. I think you might not have even been aware of that, how much they really cared about you. This is getting pretty specific, but I'm going to go with it because it feels I, like I got chills. It, I, I'm getting really strong vibes that this is the story. So if it's not yours, hmm, rhinoceros, be strong and courageous. So I think they're afraid. They're afraid of getting hurt by you, but they're going to. Like if you, they will, they'll give it a shot. They'll give it a chance. They will. They will be brave. They will be courageous. They'll go for it. If they, you know, get a clue that how you feel, they would definitely go for it. Moving forward fearlessly. Yeah, this is, uh, this is what they would want. 
to do. They would want to uh, be courageous, be brave, and to come forward and say, yes, let's try this. Let's do this again or something here. Like this is, I feel like this is like a dream come true for them. Health, an excellent time to start new exercise program or diet. Many new friendships on the horizon. I just think that you're going to make them feel better. They're going to feel better about themselves. I, I really do feel like they were kind of stung um, in the past that you rejected them. And this is going to just make them feel a whole lot better. But you would have to get to know each other because, I, like I said, I don't really feel like you know each other all that well. I, I think it was a quick hello and goodbye. I don't think this was something that ever got off the ground. Um, so you would have to get to know each other again. And I think that would be like the stipulation, like, let's take this slow. Let's make sure we're making the right moves this time. I want to make sure that you're really into me the way that I'm into you. It's a smart move on their part anyway. The emperor, stability and efficiency, taking charge of the situation, ambitious plans. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have ambitious plans, but they are going to really try to stay in control here because they are like this. If this is going to happen, it's got to happen right. Um, because you're not going to get the chance to hurt me again. But they're they're gonna have ambitious plans. Believe me, they're gonna they the way they feel about you. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, life is going to be exciting with this person. They're going to make you excited. To, they they're gonna want you to want to be with them. So they're gonna like sweep you off their, your feet. They're gonna like be uh, adventurous and passionate and they have motivation here again I kind of love this let's pull a, a thoughts and feelings card that I forgot I forgot to shuffle um, but that's okay let's see I cannot handle any more heartbreak oh so they're afraid of you they're afraid you're going to break their heart. So they're like, please don't do this if you're going to break my heart. <sighs> Interesting. See, like everything gets confirmed. So let's uh, see if another one pops here. Oh, look at this. I want to be there for you to take care of you. All right. That's nice. That's cool. They have uh, good intentions. So, all right, I like this. Let's pull a few charms. Let's get a few here. What do we got? Let's make a little room. We have, oh, we have soulmates. I love that. Abundance. Look, we got a lot of abundance here. So, uh, your person probably, um, or you could have a lot of money, but I feel like financially you guys will be stable together. Look, it's a new start in love. That's the world. The world is a cycle ends and a new cycle beginnings begins. So like it's a new start in love. I love that. Your person's a warrior. They never gave up on you and they survived and this relationship could survive. Look, you might have help from the other side. You got a dragonfly. So somebody on the other side could be bringing you guys together. Then you got candy cane. And to be honest with you, I'm just seeing a candy cane. So, um, I don't know if, if, if somebody ate peppermint or um, if somebody is something to do with Christmas with the two of you, I don't know. But uh, I'm just kind of seeing a candy cane. Nothing more to it. Just a 
It's all they gave me with it. So, I don't know, maybe it means something to you, but I, I adore this reading. <laughs> I really do. All right, Pile 2, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. Uh, if you chose Sea Glass, then this one's going to be your reading. Let's get some cards. Oh, wow. Right off the bat. They got four of wands. This is somebody you're going to marry. Queen of Cups. The Devil. Seven of Pentacles. King of Cups. You have a power couple here. You're definitely marrying this person. Um, you want to know how they feel? They love you. They, they absolutely love you. But... It could be a codependent relationship here with the devil. <clears throat> so I would tell you that you're going to have to work hard. You're not going to have to do anything, but you should work hard to um, not be dependent on each other for each other's happiness. Like you should find ways to be happy without each other right so um try to have your own interests maybe your own separate set of friends or something because i definitely feel like you guys are attached to each other and believe me codependency is very comforting I was in a codependent relationship for a very long time. Um, it's very comfortable, and but it is toxic. It is a form of toxicity. Um, you really can't depend on somebody else to make you happy. You have to find happiness within yourself. So just keep that in mind because I do feel like you guys are really going to be codependent here. But there's so much love, so much love here, so much love that your person's actually kind of scared. They're scared of how they feel about you. They feel so intently, intensely towards you that they kind of almost want to take a step back because maybe they recognize the codependency thing and they're like, ah, I know that's not a good thing. I, maybe I should take a step back. They're not going to. They're not going to. You're going to marry this person. This Well, at least that's where your person want, wants it to go. They're headed that way. Um, but, you know, with you guys being a power couple here with the king and the queen, I kind of feel like you both feel the same way towards each other. So if you don't know this person yet, get ready. You're in for a, like, a really happy time at least in the beginning you know the honeymoon phase is going to be amazing um but yeah i kind of feel like you guys are together though well let's see waiting for news package or a letter i kind of feel like they're waiting for something to be over before they take the next step with you. I don't know why I'm feeling that way or what that means, but they are definitely waiting for something, something like out of their control. Uh, uh, maybe they're waiting for like a, uh, like a job to come through so they have the money to buy a ring or something like that. Like they're waiting for some. I kind of feel like they're waiting for something or waiting for something to be over. I don't know. Advice from a friend. Uh, yeah, I definitely feel like they talk to people about you. They definitely talk to their friends. They definitely try to get advice on how to handle you or your situation or whatever. Teamwork. Ah, uh, yeah. 
see again it, it kind of feels like that codependency you guys are a team you guys are a power couple so yeah i kind of feel like you guys should probably try to have other interests but i don't think you're gonna uh, I, it's gonna be hard for you guys to do that she who whispers secrets confessions confidant i think this person just sees you as someone they can trust that they can tell their secrets to that they can tell everything to um like you're their person Chuck, be a magnet for light love and joy this person loves you this person is so happy to be with you they are so strongly attached to you like you would devastate them if you didn't feel the same way but i kind of feel like you do raising your standards is this person a step up from what, who you used to date <laughs> um now this is how they feel oh you're a step up from how who they they used to date that's could be why they're so into you absolutely um they have you on a pedestal there's no doubt in my mind they have you on a pedestal uh, they are definitely attached to you. Achievement. Enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. So, again, I just feel like you've achieved finding your person, your soulmate, your person you're going to marry. Um, yeah. It might not be all smooth sailing, but you guys adore each other. <sighs> Calling in your soulmate. No, well, there's no question this is your person. There's no question that this is going to be the one that uh, you want to be with. So, Six of Gabriel, congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Six of Gabriel is a six of wands, which is victory after the battle. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with this. Waiting for something. You're going to have a victory after this battle. Whatever you're waiting for. Whatever. Then I said something like waiting for something to be over. Maybe they're, you're waiting for a divorce. But yeah, you guys are definitely going to end up married and in love, just maybe a little codependent. So I would just keep an eye on that. Be aware of it, you know. All right, let's see. Let's see. What their, let's get thoughts and feelings for them. How I wish I could hold you tonight. Okay. I think they're always going to feel that way because they're going to be codependent. Every day that they spend away from you, that's how they're going to feel. Uh, everything you've ever said to me, I've taken to heart. So they listen. They're good listeners. They listen to what you say. So, again, that, that shows how important you are to them because they do listen to you. All right, let's get you a few charms here. Let's see. Let's see. We've got new life. Somebody you could have children with, possibly. Or you're just starting a new life with this person. Maybe you're you're already in this in the planning stages or, or ready to get married or something like that. Uh Angela Kelp. The angels are here loving you and supporting this. Oh, you got new baby. Uh, I think there's going to be a baby. Got new life and new baby. I definitely feel like this is going to 
lead to, to some kind of uh, child or grandchild. Yeah. Um, if somebody's cheering you on with the megaphone and you guys are going to grow together with the ruler. Uh, yeah, you got signs from your angels that this is your person. What is this? This is January. So did you guys meet in January or did you get engaged in January or will you get engaged in January? I don't know. There's something about January. So yeah, you guys will be abundant. You'll be abundant together. Now somebody's got the rhinoceros. So that's about being courageous and brave, but also having a thick skin. So I don't know what that means, but I mean, I know what it means. You get it. I'm not, I'm not really tying it in. But anyway, that is what I have for you, Pile 3. It's beautiful. You know, just, you know, be aware of this. That's all. But if that's the only thing you have to work on, you're in great shape. All right. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light.